All right, hey guys. So I wanted to, um, this was another requested video. I wanted to just give you guys a little bit of a close up on the Shea Air paints that I use and show you some of the sponges, including a lot of the new sponges I got from the class. Um, and then show you like the little trial set and what comes with it. And I apologize because everything is kind of mixed up now and I'm not sure like 100% <laughs> what came with what exactly. So um, to give you guys the background, like when I first decided I wanted to learn how to paint these babies, I knew I was going to be going to Rose and I knew that I would be taking Cher's class. And, and I did also know I wanted to do air dry paints. So given that, I decided to go ahead and, and you know, um, you know, you all are just starting to get to know me, but I'm kind of a, you know, when I'm like into something, I'm like, t I'm like totally all into it and I don't go halfway. I, I go big or go home. So that's just kind of how I am. And so I decided to just go for it and get like her entire master set. And I think part of it was maybe partially um, driven out of maybe a fear of, painting and then needing a certain color and not having that color and being a beginner I just wasn't sure but you know I, I definitely don't think you need to get the whole master set but um, I will say that a lot of the ladies who took um, Cher's paint class at Rose did end up getting the master set so that was cool um, and I'm not going to show you guys everything you know that comes with it but um, anyway here is Cher does provide did give us all this kind of pamphlet so and had a directory of like all the different colors that she has. And I don't know if you guys can see all the different names, um, but basically what's cool is I think that a lot of the names are actually correspondent to the Genesis heat set paint colors. So I think the idea was to make it pretty easy to switch over if you, you know, you're an artist and you've been used to using Genesis. So um, anyway, so, you know, you can, and you can see, you know, what she has here. Thank you for considering Shea Air Dry paints for your Reborns. There are many acrylic based air dries on the market and we know it can be hard to choose. Here are some of the benefits to our paints. These high quality pigment paints go on smoother and are easier to work with than most when our thinner is added. Colors are hand mixed to match familiar heat set colors most artists are used to. And with over 60 colors to choose from, we have the largest selection. A little mixed paint goes a long way. Each 20 millimeter bottle can paint between one to two dozen babies depending on artist and kit size. So only mix up five to 10 drops of paint at a time and keep paints kept so they don't dry out. Paints contain a UV protectant and resist scratching and marring once cured. Paints have a no shine matte finish and are not chalky, rough, or dry looking. All ingredients used to create these paints contain the ACMI AP seal showing they are non-toxic. Due to the addition of our thinning medium, these paints have more work time and do not require a smelly extender added to slow drying. Um, a regular hair dryer on lowest heat may be used to speed drying and damp our humid conditions. Cleans up easily with soap and water while still wet, dries permanently in 24 hours. Prior to this, can be removed with water if a mistake is made and totally cures in 72 hours. Can be stripped with household rubbing alcohol if necessary, paint better reborns in a lot faster time. So, so um, those of you guys who wondered why I read the whole thing, um, I met a very lovely, um, I think there are actually a couple of, um, you know, people who watch my channel who are, um, who are not, who are blind. Um, and so, or um, visually impaired. So I wanted to just read it for, to, you know, for her benefit and for others benefit. So anyway, here are, here's the website where you can get her paints. Um, and then here is Cher's number too. So in her email address, if you guys have any questions, feel free to contact her. She's awesome. Okay. So without further ado, let me <laughs> show you guys. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys the, oh, and you know what? This is so cool. I'll just show you guys this binder that came with our class. Um, and I want to show you, oh, I want to see if I can find, I couldn't find the business card. Oh, oh, here it is. Okay, here it is, guys. This is the business card for, um, this is Pat London, Beautiful Beginnings Reborn Nursery. She um, is from Australia, and she is the owner. She is the, the very sweet lady who gave us, um, gave Audrey the outfit for her doll, and I purchased um, some of those really cute knit outfits from her. And then the outfit that you saw Megan wearing, the, um, the little pink, crochet headband and the booties she made those as well and actually donated them to the rosebud show so very very sweet lady 
I uh, I don't know. I guess you could email her if you're interested in her things. I I couldn't find her on. I don't think she has like a website. But anyway, so I wanted to give that show you guys that. Um, okay, good. I was like, where did I put those business cards? I was really perplexed. So sorry, guys. I'm trying to do some stuff here one-handed. So um, anyway, so here's like the, the book and, and actually Cheryl sends, you know, kind of instructions on, you know, kind of how to use the paints and, and, um, and all sorts of things. And anyway, it was, it was a really, really great class and I'm excited to, I was painting a little bit last night and definitely excited to um, try painting more. And with the class came this set. I don't, I'm not 100% sure if this is the same as her Try Me set, which is kind of like the, it's a very affordable trial set of paints I want to say it might even be under maybe it might even be under twenty dollars I'm not sure but um, this set that came with our class includes one two three four five six seven eight ten different colors um, so you can see we have the flesh eight those of you guys don't paint I apologize if this is boring at all thin skin sorry blusher Nail tips, PY5, that's like a pure roll red, for those of you guys who don't know. Flesh 7, Purple D, Veins, Mauve Model, and Bronze. And for those of you guys who don't know, um, like we were actually, we painted our entire class baby using this set of paints. So just a simple starter set of 10 paints. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because you don't have to buy the master set. Um, the master set is definitely more expensive, but if you're just new to these paints and just want to try them out first and make sure that you like them, um, I think this starter set is a great choice. So I think she, she calls it her try me set on her website. Um, anyway, so I know I'm kind of promoting her paints here, but I really like them. And, and I, I think a lot of the, the ladies in the class, you know, just absolutely loved it. And a lot of them have been using Genesis for a long time and we're planning to switch over. So, oh my gosh, I'm not going to be able to close this with one hand. Ah, oh, there we go. All right. <laughs> and then in the class too, she also gave us, and I don't know if she'll do her class exactly the same next year, but, um, she gave us this, you know, we could pick kind of a liven up set, which has like some different model colors and blush colors. This pink peach blush color, I really like, and I use it for a lot of my babies. So I picked a set that had that. Um, yeah, it has a model set and all this stuff. So the idea is you can kind of use these colors complementary um, to each other. The other things that she provided um, were thinner in a bottle. Um, the big master set comes with this large thinner. You can, you guys can see I'm already like halfway through. I'm gonna need to buy more. So, so anyway, thinner. Um, this is distilled water. Um, that, so this is all we had in the set. We had wet look, which is kind of used for like the lips and glossing the nails towards the end. Shine Away, which we actually used as a prep layer as well as a, a final sealing layer. Oh, here's more Shine Away. This is the Shine Away that came with the Master Set. And this is Super Smooth, which did not come with the Master Set, but we use this in class. Um, this is you. There are a couple steps um, when painting the baby where this comes in handy, and I, I, I'm not 100% sure what it's for. I, I can't remember. And then she also included um, a paint palette. This actually also comes with the master set, so now I have two of them. And also in the class, we've got all these brushes, um, this cute little like Tupperware thing to put the dis distilled water in, kind of a spongy egg sponge. I'm not going to take all this out, but you guys get the idea. All right, and then I'm just going to show you guys for the master set. I keep the ones, the colors I most I use most often in these plastic bags. So I apologize. I'm not going to take them out because I don't want to have to clean everything up. Um, but yeah, you, you can have an idea of like all the colors that come. These are kind of like the darker, fleshier tones. Try, try to lump those together. And here are some very commonly used colors that I that I use. Um, okay, so. And, and, oh, and then share when I ordered the master set, you get your choice of like various boxes, which is cool. She sent me a bunch of pictures and I picked this cute one because 
um, as you guys um, may have gathered, I'm very, I'm in love with like Parisian and um, French culture, so I kind of picked this one I thought looked very French. And in here, we have, look at all these paints. So they weren't like this when they came. Sorry, Cher, I don't mean to <laughs> miss, make this look like it came in like this. Um, they were all lined up very, very neatly, um, kind of in neat little rows, but I am too lazy to <laughs> rearrange them like that to show you guys. But you can see just how many colors, it's like every color imaginable that you could want is in here. And, and they're nicely labeled, like red hair, you know, they have, um, you know, to give you an idea, Native Native American. So she has like different kind of washes you can do depending on like what kind of ethnic look you're going for. So, you know, the master set of paints is definitely an investment, but um, I, I don't think I'm, I'm, you know, I think they're gonna last me extremely long time. So I am glad that I got it. And uh, yeah, let me show you guys some of the sponges that we use in the class too. So. Okay, this is just a plain, plain sponge. I don't think there's, oh, you know, it might be a torn, might be considered a torn sponge. There are a few steps where we use like a torn sponge. So you can see this one's like a torn sponge. I think it's like the flush layer or something. This one was also torn. Um, this is just plain. We just, sometimes you just need to use, use it to pounce paint off. Oh, okay, so here are like the really cool sponges. I just wanted to show you guys. Um, so, so these sponges, these ones were used for mottling. They're just really cool. Look at this pink one too for some of the model layers, and the yellow one as well, also for mottling. And then um, this one is really really cool. This is the um, Oh, this is the three hole sponge and th this is all just they plucked it themselves but basically this this is I thought this was genius you can you basically paint here and then you can actually you know you know you make sure you don't overlap on the baby but you can do this in place of veining and it gives this whole veining effect um, that's a little bit more foolproof than drawing veins because drawing veins is really tricky to get that right so um, Anyway, it gives you that sort of veining effect without actually having to draw veins. So this was genius. There, um, Stephanie, who was sitting next to me in the class, she was like, this is like such a game changer. And th this was like worth the price of admission alone for the class. So, and then she, there's this like four sponge, which is super cool too. Honestly, I can't remember what we use this for. I'm mean, going to just have to go back, but it kind of gives you some depth when, you know, in, in the skin tone when you apply it. And then this one similarly too, I think for, for another reason too. But so these were all used for like different layers in the class, um, which was awesome and really um, gave a different effect because I, I, you know, I didn't realize, and I'm gonna embarrass myself here and show you guys my, um, my modeling sponges that I had made because I kind of don't really know, know any better. Um, I tried to just kind of pluck randomly, but I don't think I plucked with enough depth. So I, I don't think I was getting enough of the depth that I, that I wanted. So anyway, um, okay. So back to the set. Um, oh, and this, there are a couple other things. This came with my master set too. I'm not sure what all of these things do, but yeah. So this, this came with the set. There's like powders, there's a brush and things like that. Um, let me see. Oh, ooh, ooh, I gotta show you guys in here. Ha ha. This is this was awesome too. This is like my other big like aha. <laughs> a moment in the class. I need to show you guys. Okay. So you're probably like wondering what are these little tiny jars and what do they contain? These actually contain pastels that have been ground up. And you can use these um, basically in place of creases. You can use them for highlights, additional blushing. And um, we did this kind of as a last step to do like additional finishing touches. It's super tiny, um, as you can see. But um, Cher told me that basically these pastels, you can get them from Amazon. Um, it's by a brand called, oh gosh, I'm gonna butcher this. I think it's Mayungo or something like that. 
Um, anyway, I ordered some. They're only like $6 or something like that, and you get like a whole bunch, and then you have to just ground it up. But you use these, you can use these pastels as sort of an additional enhancement and finishing touch. And I, I felt it gave some really pretty depth for the creases, especially this um, really nice sort of raisiny, darkish um, burgundy color. So anyway, guys, so that's it. Those are the share paints, <laughs> share paints. I hope, I hope this is helpful. And note that there are like different sizes too. So I believe these are the 20 mil. This might be the 20 milliliter size. She has like different sizes. Give me a quick second. Let me like grab that sheet again to show you. Um, okay. Um, let me see here. Oh, okay. Here. Oh, here are some prices. Okay. The mini try me set. Okay. Oh, okay. Here we go. $30 for a set of, sorry, I got the price wrong. $30 for a set of 12. The try me set is $50 for a set of 12. I think that's just a bigger size. Then there's a mini master artist, which is one ninety five, and then I, I went I I went big guys. Like I said, I went ahead and got the master artist set, which is two ninety five, and um. And there were like a lot of things that came with it. So anyway, so that's. Or you know what? Maybe I didn't get them. I'm trying to think. Did I get all of that? I think I did. I think I got the biggest set that she offered. So um. Yeah, I actually am going to want to order some more things. I think I'm I, I'm going to want more thinner. Actually, I'm okay still for a while. I'm going to wait because it's not, it's better to, yeah, but she has all these colors. It's just crazy. Um, anyway, guys, I hope that's helpful. And I know some of you guys are thinking of painting and I, I, it's really fun. So give it a shot, you know, you know, buy a, you know, Bountiful Baby Kit on sale for 15 to $20 and then give it a shot, you know, have some fun. Um, and I think when you order paints from Cher, she'll send you like a little, a tutorial that you can follow. But, um, I, I would definitely just recommend like a lot of the techniques in Genesis can be applied to air dry. It's just, um, you know, and you might need to do some trial and error and just figure out what works well for you. So I'm, I'm kind of constantly experimenting with new techniques as well. So Anyway, oh, and here's the cute Rose Doll Show program for any of you guys who did not get to see that. So, actually, let me show you. Um, these advertisers spend so much money um, to have an advertisement in the in the brochure. Let me just flip through it for you guys so you can see. Oh, and here is the schedule. Um, here we go. Um, Cher did mention that they may try to do um, like a two separate days for the air dry class. So. People can take this class and take other classes too. So I think that would be a great idea. We have a Rose Cares. Guys, I, I have to confess, I didn't even read this <laughs> when I was at the show. I would think I was just so excited. Oh, but that's so cool. They had a Dolly Hospital. I didn't take advantage of it, but it looks like they had different services. Like if you needed to reweigh your baby, um, you know, you needed to restuff. Um, restuff your baby or add more fluff, replace the body. Oh, I see you supply the body and then they use the glass. Okay. So there's kind of different, different services. I thought that was really cool. And here was the floor map. Oops. Okay. And here was like the map of the hall and what that looked like. Here, here is also a handout I got for the classes, like where were all the classes held. So the whole thing was just really well organized. I mean, in the, oh, the ladies who are running it and, and I think it was like some of the children of some of the staff that were like, um, you know, manning the booth and checking people in and stuff. Prize drawings. Oh, this is the picture of Sunday Rose, the Cindy Musgrove baby of the year. And then, um, Oh, I guess Pat Moulton sculpted and donated this baby. There were a lot of babies that were give that were giveaways. Oh, here's Paradise Galleries. Um, and then yeah, and then some, some some of the some some of the folks that basically took out ads. So that's cool. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show them because pictures here. Um Oh, and by the way, Elena Peterson, her, she is the mom of, 
um, the real, this is the Cheyenne sculpt and her daughter is the, is based, um, is the, is the real Cheyenne. <laughs> I, I, I think that's her, Elena Peterson. I think that's her. She was in my class too, by the way, for air dry, which was cool. So I got to meet her and her daughter. Um, so, oh, autographs. Oh my gosh. What a fun idea. Okay. Now I feel terrible that I didn't open up this program and really look at it. That would have been a really fun idea to get autographs. Oh, well, maybe next year I'll, I'll have to do that. Oh, and Denise Pratt, I met her. So they said special thanks to all these folks. So we'll give you guys some airtime here. Yeah, but the show is just awesome, you guys. I'm still on a high. Anyway, <laughs> it's not to get too off topic, but thank you so much for watching this video. And um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I am so excited for all my new subscribers and and thank you for the kind words about the doll show video. Again, I, um, it was really fun. I had such a blast. All right, guys, talk to you soon. See you on the next video. Bye.